Hey everyone, what's going on? It's your boy Krebsy Crypto, and I'm back with another tutorial for your 2GB graphics cards. Now for this tutorial, it's only going to be for NVIDIA graphics cards unfortunately, so I'm sorry if you end up having like a different one. This one's just for the NVIDIA. So what I'll be showing you is the different algorithms that we can mine with the 2GB graphics cards, just like a quick few of them just to show you guys, and then you can look through the rest yourself if you want. To see if you can mine some other ones but i'm going to give you the basic setup with the mining software and the algorithms to use for your two gigabyte graphics cards and as you see here this one is a two gigabyte it's a g geforce gtx 760 two gigabyte form let's try to get to focus here there as you see there the p slash n is zero two g which means it's a two gigabyte so you guys know that I'm doing this with you, I'm not using any other type of graphics cards. I have my main rig running right here, so that's doing that thing. So I'll be showing you guys how to like set it up and how to mine different algorithms and try to find the most profitable one for your 2 gigabyte graphics cards. And just quickly before we start, this is going to be a different algorithm compared to my other videos of using like Vertcoin and Verthash to mine. And this is going to be able to let you convert your coins to Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, Dogecoin, Litecoin. There's a few of them. There's a whole list on the website on the pool that we're going to use. We're going to use a multi-pool uh, exchange. So you can use uh, any of these algorithms and convert it to any type of coin, really. But yeah, let's get right into this tutorial. All right, everyone. Now that we're over on the computer and you have your graphics card hooked up, the first program you actually want is MSI Afterburner and what this program will do is allow you to kind of control your graphics card more so you can just google MSI Afterburner or I'll put the link in the description and you could go download it and once you download it you just want to open it up here and once you open it up yours will be just like mine here with all these default settings most likely you might have a few things different depending on your power supply and the graphics card you're using but it's going to show you like all the power your graphics cards pulling and the temperature but you can adjust these for when your algorithms open so if your temperature gets high you can like pull down the power limit a bit and it will like make the temperature a little less and stuff you can like learn about it but I can make a whole separate video on that if you guys would want to so I'm just gonna quickly adjust mine here I think I have a preset saved yeah there we go you can save presets along the side here so as you see I have power limit temp limit set and fan speed all set up here I know my fan speed's a little high, but it's a little older of a graphics card, the GTX 760. So the thing heats up pretty good even after a thermal paste change. It's just from the wear and tear after some time. So once you do have all your settings set to how you want them, you just click this little check mark down here. And that will apply your settings and get everything ready so we can start mining. All right, so for this mining tutorial, we'll be using CC Miner, the TPRU VOT release. I'll post a link in the description so you can follow along here. And as it says here, this is the CUDA open source miner project for most NVIDIA cards. So most NVIDIA cards, even if they are older, even newer ones, they all should work on this one. So what you want to do is come over to the release section over here on the right hand side. And you're going to see version 2.3.1. Don't click on that. So cl click on the plus 55 releases here. And it's going to bring you to a page of a whole bunch of different versions. Now, depending on your CUDA version and which NVIDIA driver you have, as it says here, that's going to depend on the version you use. For me, I'm just playing it safe and I went with the CUDA 9 version just because my graphics card is older. And that one I went with was right here, version 2.3. And you just click on it and it'll bring you to the page or you can go here, this little assets <coughs> button down here. And then you can just download it right there by clicking this. I already have it downloaded, but we'll get right into that now. All right, so as you see, I have it downloaded here. And once you do download it and extract it, because it's going to come in a zip form, you just want to click on your start menu before you open the folder and click on settings. So this is after you extract it, you want to go to your settings option here and click update and security. And then you want to click Windows security. And then you want to click virus and threat protection. And another window should pop up. And you want to click manage settings under virus and threat protection settings so click on manage settings and once you do that you want to scroll down to pretty much the bottom and find exclusions and then you want to click add or remove exclusions and once you do that it's going to come up with a list yours will probably be empty i just have different miners i've been testing out but what you want to do is click add an exclusion and click add folder 
and then you want to select the CC minor folder. I've already done that as you see here. It's already selected on my desktop. So once we do that, it'll just pop up with like you confirming it, clicking yes or no. So make sure to click yes on that little pop up window. I would do it here, but it messes up the recording for some reason. But after you do that, you just want to come and open up the folder here and you're going to see all these different like bat files and command files and the actual program itself. So what we're going to do first is actually open the readme folder. So what this readme is, is pretty much going to tell you all the different algorithms you can mine. Not guaranteeing you it's going to work for your graphics card. But the main ones we're going to focus on, here's the whole list. You just scroll down just like a little bit and you'll see specify the algorithm to use. So you'll see a whole list of different ones here. The main ones we're going to focus on is X16R because I've tested that one already and it does work with at least the GTX 760 2GB graphics card. And we're also going to focus on this top one here. I can never pronounce it, but it's used to mine garlic coin, A-L-L-I-U-M. So we'll start with those two and we'll go about that. So what we're going to do is probably just minimize this readme folder for now. You can actually just close it out if you want, depending if you want to just look at different algorithms. But what I did was the first command file here. What you want to do is just click on it and then right click and edit. And it'll probably give you like an option what to open it with. Just open it with notepad. I've already done that so that's why I don't have the open with option. But once you open it up you're going to see this command line here. And you're probably wondering oh I need like a pool to mine to and a wallet so on and so forth. I already have mine set up so yours might look a little bit different. But what we're going to do is come back to the internet browser and we're going to look at zpool here. And also I'm going to quickly open up Zerg pool because these are both uh, multi-coin exchanges for pools so you can mine the algorithm and you can get like pretty much any coin back in return so we'll just start with zpool.ca here once you're on the home page when you load up the website this will be the main page yours might be a different background color you can change the theme up in the top right hand corner here but you're going to scroll down until you see the stratum generator and what this is is going to be generating the stratum on what you're mining on so the region, depending what region you're in, you just want to select the right one. So for me, North America. And then you're going to click this drop down. Yours might just be blank, but it's going to be this big drop down of all these different algorithms. Oops. All these different algorithms that you can mine, as you see here. For example, we'll just click on X16R because that's what we're working with. And then what's that going to do is give you a server and the stratum. So what we're going to do is highlight it here. It's going to spit it out right here for whatever one you're mining. You want to right click and copy it and then what we're going to do is open up that notepad that we have open that we're editing currently and where it has the current stratum you're just going to highlight it and then you're going to right click and then click paste and then it's going to replace the stratum so you're mining with that one mind you you also have to change this like the algorithm that you are mining so mine set to this one because i was testing that so we're going to change it to x16r so whatever the algorithm is, is going to be the first part of this URL right here. And then what you need next for the username, at least for the zpool, is a wallet address. So depending on whatever coin you're going to mine, I'm just going to sw swap out of this folder here and go to my addresses here that I have saved. It's going to open up another notepad and these are just all my wallets that I have running. I'm just going to click back there. Alright, so for this one, since I have a 2 gigabyte graphics card, we know it's not going to be like too profitable with Bitcoin and Litecoin and a few others. So what I'm going to do is just actually highlight the Digibyte one here, because I have a Digibyte address and it's a pretty GPU mineable coin that's meant for lower end GPUs as well. So I'll highlight it and then just click copy. And then we're going to come over here and we'll paste it right there. And then that's going to be after the dash u it's going to be your username which is your wallet address but if you want you can do bitcoin and everything just saying it might take a while for a payout just due to the fact on depending on your two gigabyte graphics card but for this sake we'll just do the bitcoin one here just something different compared to my other videos so we'll paste that there so you should have it set up with the stratum and the algorithm you're mining and then your wallet address to whatever coin you're mining. So this is my Bitcoin address because I want to mine Bitcoin. All right. So for the next one, you want to click this little currency thing here. You can paste your payout address there so it gives you a username, but we already went over that. And you're going to have a whole different selection. Well, you should at least. I'll just reload the page here. You're going to have a whole different list of payout currencies. As I said, I'm just doing Bitcoin for now for this tutorial, 
but as you see there's a whole bunch of different coins you can look up and look into but we'll come down and click bitcoin and as you see it says password c equals btc so what we're going to do is copy that and we're going to open up what we're editing here for the command and we're going to paste it after the dash p for the password so we'll paste it just like that so yours should look similar to this depending on what coin you're mining the coin will be like your coin payout will be different depending what you're mining so if you want to do doge you type doge and then put a doge uh, wallet address there and then you just want to leave everything else and then what you want to do is click file and save now once we save this what we're editing here we can close out of it and then we'll just minimize the pool here and then i'll just close out my addresses here and what we'll do is open up the cc miner folder that we have been working on and downloaded and then what you want to do is come over to the command file that you did edit and change up you just want to double click on it and it should load up just like this sorry if it starts to lag or anything because i'm recording also so hopefully it's fine but as you see it's accepted already and i have some good kilohash with it it's about 1.5 mega hash so it's nothing crazy but it is more profitable than vert hash and uh, vert coin and a few others as well so this seems to like, as you see it's running pretty well it runs like very well for a two gigabyte graphics card you're not going to make like crazy amount of money like i think i make like five or ten cents a day something like that but i don't pay for power so it's convenient for me to just throw into my mining setup for just the memes and fun of it really all right i just had to close it up there because it started to lag with the recording a bit but yeah as you see in there we were mining it for bitcoin and everything all right so you just come over to the z pool website if you want to check your like your mining stats and you'll click wallet up here and it'll bring you to like a little search bar or it'll be at the top of the website here it'll be wallet address and you just paste it in there and we just click enter you might not see anything right now because i'm currently not mining obviously i have no miners connected to it because i shut down my mining process here but if we were to boot it up and everything it should come up with your mining summary but yeah this process is going to be the same with pretty much every like algorithm that you want to try so we'll just go to the home page here i'll scroll back down we'll leave that there and we'll open up the CC miner folder again and we'll go through the readme again. And like I said, I was messing with this one also and it's a pretty good like algorithm for it. This one makes about five to ten cents a day. At least for my graphics card, nothing crazy, right? Like obviously. But uh you just want to highlight whatever one you want to try, copy it, we'll close that, and then we'll open up the editing again for the command we were doing. So we just right click edit it'll open it back up you just want to change the algorithm so we'll paste it there and then you want to do the same process again so north america and you want to find the algorithm that you're doing so right there and then copy that algorithm just like that and then we'll paste it in there just change out the other url that you put in there and you can leave the things the same if you want just to test out profitability and then file save Close that out, minimize this, oh. All right, and then we'll give it a run here. And as you see, it'll start mining again, and this should be the same process, just depending on your algorithm. If it doesn't work, it w the miner will tell you, it'll be like card not supported or algorithm not supported or not enough memory, so on and so forth. But yeah, you get the point of this. Now you may come to Z pool and you'll be like, oh they don't have the coin i want to mine like ethereum or something like that that's where a zerg pool comes in they're another pool that's exactly like z pool just with a little more coins and stuff so when you load up the website it'll look just like this you'll see all the different algorithms that they do on the right hand side here but yeah you want to come down to the minor command line generator and you want to do the pretty much the exact same thing click your region that you're closest to or are in and then you'll see algo and you want to click on the algorithm that you want to do and then you want to click payout currency so as you see here they have ethereum usdt they have a few other ones that zpool doesn't so if you want to do ethereum you could do ethereum as well and then just put your wallet address and then this will give you a full command line if you want to copy it and then just paste it into the editing that you're doing so we'll edit that see where it says dash a that's where this command line down here starts so in this case we would just highlight from dash a just to make it easy paste and then don't forget to put your ethereum wallet address as your username there and then start it up and you're good to go for zerk pool but yeah i know i kind of went on and rambled a little bit with uh 
this tutorial, but I wanted to make sure people understood it and people knew what they were doing. But it's pretty straightforward. If there's any questions, just let me know in the comments. And I'll try my best to get back to them. And like I said, make sure you have the right CUDA for your NVIDIA graphics card. Mine could probably run the newest one since I do have a newer driver above that version. But I just stick with 2.3 because I know it works solidly on CUDA 9. I probably will mess with this newer one just to try it out. But yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope this got I hope this helped you out guys. I hope this got you kind of an understanding if you're struggling with mining with this type of mining software in the command line. Like I said, uh, your card might not be supported, so you could try like an older version of T-Rex miner, a few other miners, but for me I'm sticking with CC miner. I might do a tutorial if I get like um a graphics card supported for T-Rex Miner and stuff. My graphics card doesn't work with it. It only works with CC Miner. So that's why I did it with this tutorial. But yeah, sorry for rambling on. I hope this helps you guys. And I hope you all have an amazing day. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.